at this point, I've just got an excessive. I've just got an excessive amount of hair, so we're here with the hats. Welcome back to Drum Electric. As always, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, it's great to see your brilliant face. So this one is a little thing that I didn't actually know about on the SPDSX, which I'm mildly ashamed about. But this is a little feature that I now use on every single gig. It's super helpful. And I just, like I said, I just, I don't know how I didn't know about it. This is all about the kit chain feature on the SPD. Now, some of you may already know what this feature is. And if you do, amazing. I'm really glad. Please comment down below if you already know about this feature or if you use it regularly and what you use it for. It'll be really interesting to hear your guys' experience with this great feature. But for those that don't know what this feature is, it's amazing. Basically, it stops the need from having to switch between loads of different patches on a gig and having to go right I'm on number one now I need number 20 click 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 and just and just doing that and you have to do that between every song what this does is basically you can set it so if you've got say like four songs in a row and you need to go from patch one to 13 to 54 to four you just go boop 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 done and they're just laid out one after another like its own little mini set list it's really great it's really easy and it's really quick to set up and the best bit is you can set up multiples of them so you don't have to stick one set list for one gig if you're on 14 different gigs I don't know how many there are I I don't know if there's 14. If you're on multiple different gigs and you need different set lists for different patches, for different stuff like that, then you can just set all of them out and just switch from kit A, kit B, kit C, and so on. It's amazing. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So welcome to Behind the Kit. I don't know why I say that every single time. I am clearly behind a drum kit. So hello, I am clearly behind a drum kit. So as you can see, I've got my SPD over here to my right, just above my floor toms. This is usually because I'm controlling something rather than sampling. So I'll have external triggers over here where I want them. And then I'll be controlling like Ableton main stage, for example, from here. So how we set up the kit chains is super, super easy. It's just from the quick button where we've got two options. It's the first two things there. It's turn on and off kit chain and then you've got kit chain underneath where we're going to go in and edit them. We're just we're going to set it up and then I'm going to show you how to turn it on and off. So the first thing you want to do is hit that quick button. Then as I said it's the first two options. So the first option is to turn on and off the kit chains which we'll get to in a minute. The second option kit chain is where you want to go. Hit the down arrow and then hit enter to get into there and then you come up with this menu. Now here's the list of all of the different kits that you'd want to set up, okay? So at the very top, you've got A, kit chain. Now these are A to H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. They're all the kits you can have, okay? So to select through these, you just hit the plus and minus button up there. So A, B, C, D, etc. okay? I'm gonna keep it on A just for demo purposes. So then we've got the list, one through to a lot. From here, again, we're gonna use the down arrow and we're going to kit one. Okay, now this first kit can be any preset you've got on the SPD. To choose it, just hit that plus and minus button, okay? So for now, I'm gonna stick this on the main kit just for demo purposes. And then the next song in the set, I'm gonna need to go over to patch 11 because we're doing All Night Long by Lionel Richie. What a banger! But so I'm gonna set that as kit number two because that's the second song in my set. Then for song number three, kits number three, I want to go back to my initial pad, so the main kit. So I'm just gonna set that as number one, again, using the plus and minus buttons to choose that kit. You can carry on for a whole set of this whole thing. For now, I'm just gonna stick with those three just to show you guys what it's like. So I'm gonna hit the kit button once I've done, once that's all set up, and that will take us back to the main menu. Now, this won't turn on the kit chain. To turn on the kit chain, you just hit that quick button once more, and then it's the first option, all right? It's kit chain on slash off. You just hit enter, and there'll be a little tick in the box, and you're good to go. Hit kit, or it'll automatically come out of it. And then you'll see chain A in the bottom left, and then the kit you're on. So for example, this is kit chain, the main kit number one, and then it's going to go to patch 11. To switch between them, you just hit the plus button as if you would to go to the next patch. That's gonna take me to number 11, all night long, all night long, Lionel Richie, the proper banger. Third song in the set, hit that plus button and we're back to our first 
preset. Like I said, you can set all of these through for your whole gig. Now, a little tip that I saw some other guys do, and you may do this already, or you may not, is I recommend putting a silence patch in there if you're not using the patches or any triggers. So if you've got a song where you don't need it, chuck a silence patch in there where you've got no anything on any triggers. So if you accidentally nudge a trigger or something falls and hits the pad, then it's not going to trigger a random sound. You're not going to get a random in the middle of the set, that sort of thing. Plus it means if you're sitting there for a while and you've got a pad here or your SPD here, you can just kind of warm up on it because essentially it's a glorified practice pad at that point. And then you can just hit the plus minus buttons to go to your next song, next patch, etc, etc. Just don't forget to change off of that silent patch before your next song. I've done that before where I've gone to hit it and nothing has happened because there's nothing on that patch. And that is it. It's a really nice quick feature that again, I just really wish I knew about it before and I'm, I don't know how I didn't know about this until like a year ago, six months ago. I mean, this is especially a great feature for when you're eventually back in gigs or if you're in a theatre setting. The first time I ever saw this was actually when I sat in in Wicked here in the UK in the West End. I, they have a little SPD in the pit and they were using the kick chains and it's like <gasps> it was great if you have any questions or any experiences with the kick chains feature what gigs you use them on stuff like that please comment them down below and as always don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe if you're new here for all of our shiny new videos and i will see you in the next one